Welcome back. Thanks so much for staying with us here on The Local Vibe. We are about to enter National Library Week. An author that we spoke with earlier on The Local Vibe, Sadie Elder, is partnering with High Point University for a couple of reading events this spring. So great to see her again. She and her illustrator, Catherine Gerace, are here to talk about that event as well as their literacy campaign. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So thanks for being with us again. Sadie, we'll start with you. Please share the message of your book. It's called Boopers, the Bad Cat. I see the copy there behind you. <laughs> Tell us when you released yes, the book and the premise so of it. So Boopers was my actual pet. She was with me for 20 years and she was this beautiful but ferocious being. And I felt like when she left us, there was a void that needed to be filled. And so we approached it in terms of a children's book. And we've been really excited to share this message of, you know, love pets and kind of the importance of family uh, throughout the whole state of North Carolina. We've been really amazed at the reception that we've gotten, the donations that people have given and how we've been able to put these in schools and libraries throughout North Carolina. What a great effort. Now, Catherine, as we mentioned, you're the illustrator here and you guys are teaming up to host a couple events this spring. Can you tell us what those are and when they'll be? Yeah, of course. So we are planning to host an event on April 7th at um, HPU, and that event will be open to um, High Point University faculty and staff and the children of them. Um, and then we also have another event that will be at the High Point Public Library on May 11th, and that will be free to the public. For, so anybody can kind of come to that one and, and learn more about Boopers the Bad Cat and learn more about us. And Sadie, if you could share just the importance of literacy over, overall and how you've been able to inspire these young minds to read more. Absolutely, thank you for asking that. It's such an important question and it's such an important part of what we're doing. Catherine and I actually met through the Junior League of High Point. And so our background and connection is really in youth and women's empowerment and trying to do something great for the community. So when we published this book, one of the important things for us was to make it widely available, particularly for Title I schools and to get them into public libraries. And we have just been overwhelmed by the support of friends and family members who have jumped on that bandwagon and helped us to make these widely available. Back in the last Time we visited with you guys in November, we were talking about our literacy campaign and how we were just going to get off the ground. Well, since that time, we were able to get donations for 50 books to be donated, one to each of the Title I elementary schools in Guilford County. And we drove around in yes. January and hand delivered every one of those books. And some of the schools invited us to meet with their kindergarten classes and do events with their libraries. It's just been a really wonderful opportunity to connect with our community and to give back. And Catherine, why was it so important for you both to be getting into these schools, giving these books out directly and interacting with those students and making those accessible again for free, which is incredible? Yeah, so it's just really important to make sure children have opportunities to read different books and, um, and just have the ability to check them out, take them home with them um, and, and have, you know, just that literacy and early literacy. Um, it was really cool for me, especially going into the public schools in Guilford County. Um, I grew up in High Point, and so I was able to visit my elementary school, which uh, Johnson Street, and um, and kind of walk in the library and have all the all the flashbacks and everything. <laughs> so it's it's been a wonderful experience to share that and and kind of remember my childhood and how important reading was to me. What a full circle moment for you yes. to be able to do that. I always feel like it's smaller when you walk and you're like, was it always this size when I was a kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What well, a special thing. Yeah, and we were showing some really great photos of you both with the kids and, you know, it must be a dream come true for you both. We saw you holding a little sign there too. Sadie and Catherine, thank you for joining us. Congratulations too. And here is that information for those events offered to the public. The first one is April 7th. There will be a reading of the Bad Cat Boopers the Bad Cat, the book, open to the children, the High Point community. Um, then in May, there will be a Children's Book Expo on the 11th featuring the local authors. That one is free and open to the public.